Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be talking about how much Burning Shadows Pokemon cards are worth. If you're interested in figuring out the value of any other recently released set out there, in the description of this video, I have a link to the playlist I've created for all the videos like this that I've done on my channel previously. So before I get into prices of these cards, I'll give some general information on the Burning Shadows set. So the Burning Shadow set is the 74th set released in the English TCG. It is the third Sun and Moon series set, and the set continues to feature 7th generation Pokemon, Pokemon GX, and Alolan Pokemon. Burning Shadows is based around Ho-Oh and Necrozma, and it is the first English set to feature Marshadow. The way that you identify a Burning Shadows Pokemon card is to look at the set symbol located at the bottom left hand corner of the card. You can see that there are 147 cards in this set, in the base set, and in the total set there are 169 cards when secret rare cards are included. The official release date for this set in the United States was August 4th, 2017. If you'd like any additional general information on this set, you'll find another link in the description of this video to the set review and summary video I did on Burning Shadows, as well as find out sealed product prices and what sealed products came out with Burning Shadows. So I'll get right into Pokemon card values now for this set, and the remaining portion of this video is broken down into three different sections. How much the cards are worth now, tips for collecting these cards, and then future value of this set. And the way that I determine Pokemon card values is I look at sites that sell Pokemon cards like eBay, Collector's Cash, Troll and Toad, Poke Order, etc. And then I look to see what these cards actually sell for by looking at things like TCG Player and sold listings on eBay. So now I'm going to go through all of the Ultra Rares and Secret Rares for this set and give you prices for all of those cards. And just to note, there are 13 total holo cards in this set. None of the rare holo cards in the set are really worth much. None are worth more than about a dollar. Outside of the ultra rares and secret rares, the Guzma uncommon trainer card is worth a dollar to a dollar fifty. So first type of ultra rare card that'll show would be the Pokemon GX. There are 12 regular GX cards in this set. On average, they are 1 in 9 packs, or about 4 per booster box. The price range for these cards are $2 to $15. And on the screen, you can see a list of all of the GX cards in this set, going in order from most valuable to least valuable. So at $15, Gardevoir, the card I'm showing on the screen, is the most valuable regular GX. Dark Rides were 7 Galisopod and Charizard are worth 5 Marshadow, Ho-Oh, and Necrozma, are worth $4, Noivern and Tapufini are worth $3, and then Alolan Muck, Salazzle, and Machamp are only worth $2 each. And something a little bit different about the Ultra Rares in this set, not every card that's in GX form is available in GX Full Art and GX Rainbow Rare. I'll try and mention those as I go on in this video. Pokemon GX Full Art cards are next. And there are 13 GX Full Art cards in this set. On average, you're looking at one per booster box. I would like to say that you get two Full Art cards per booster box, whether it be two GX Full Art or one GX Full Art and one Full Art Trainer, but normally one to two Full Art cards per box. And the price range for these cards would be $4 to $25. And very similarly to the prices of the regular GX cards, the GX Full Art cards follow that same order. So the most valuable GX Full Art card from this set would be Gardevoir. It is worth $25. Darkrai is worth $14. Glycopod is worth $9. Ho-Oh, Tapu Bulu, and Marshadow are all worth $8, and Tapu Bulu from this set is only available in GX Full Art and GX Rainbow Rare form. Ho-Oh GX from this set is only available in GX and then GX Full Art form. $7 for Tapu Fini, Necrozma, and Noivern, so the card I'm holding here, Tapu Fini. $6 for Alolan Muck. $5 for Lycanroc and Slazzle, and then the least valuable GX Full Art from this set would be Machamp. 
Next up would be the GX Rainbow Rare cards, or GX Hyper Rare. There are 13 different GX Rainbow Rare cards in Burning Shadows. On average, these are 1 in 72 booster packs, or 1 in 2 booster boxes. And these are secret rare, number-wise. The numerator is always higher than the denominator on these cards. And the price range for these types of cards would be 8 to $60. And you can get a GX Rainbow Rare and then a Secret Rare Energy or Trainer card in one booster box. So value-wise, Charizard is the most valuable GX Rainbow Rare. It's worth $60. And as you probably noticed, there is not a Charizard GX Full Art in this set. Gardevoir GX Rainbow Rare is worth $42. Darkrai is worth $22. $15 for Glycopod, Necrozma, and Tapu Wulu. $13 for Marshadow and Alolan Muck. Noivern and Tapu Fini are both worth $11 each. Salazzle is worth $10. And then Lycanroc and Machamp are both worth $8. There is not a Ho-Oh GX Rainbow Rare in this set. We'd sure like to have one in the set, but that will be a Black Star promo at a future date. Full Art Trainer cards are next, and there are six different Full Art Trainer cards in this set. And these cards on average are one per booster box, like I mentioned with the GX Full Art cards. On average you get one to two Full Art cards per box. And they range in value from seven to forty-five dollars. Guzma is the most valuable Full Art Trainer, it's worth forty-five dollars. Acerola is worth twenty-six. Kiawe is worth eleven. Wick is worth 10 and then both Plumeria and Sophocles is worth $7. The final type of card that I'll show here would be the Secret Rare Trainer and Energy cards. These types of cards are usually the toughest to pull from the Burning Shadows set. And there are 9 total Secret Rare Trainer and Energy cards. On average, 1 in 3 booster boxes or 1 in 108 booster packs. 3 different Energy cards and then 6 Trainer cards. The Secret Rare Trainer and Energy cards range in value from $9 to $42. The most valuable Secret Rare would be Choice Bands worth $42. Fairy Type Energy is worth $26. The Darkness Type Energy and Rescue Stretcher are both worth $23. Fire type energy and super scoop up are both worth $17. Escape rope is worth $14. Bodybuilding dumbbells, like I'm showing on the screen, is worth $10. And then the multi switch secret rare is worth $9. So, as far as top five most valuable cards in this set, the Charizard GX Rainbow Rare is the most valuable. Then it goes to the Guzma Full Art. There are a couple of cards worth $42, both Choice Band and Gardevoir, the Gardevoir GX Rainbow Rare and then Choice Band Secret Rare. And then both the Fairy Type Energy and Acerola Full Art are worth $26. So that really rounds out the top five most valuable cards in this set. Really more than five, but price-wise, the top five. So I can talk about tips for collecting cards from this set and then future value. As far as tips for collecting these cards, if you're looking to save the most money, the best way to purchase these cards is to buy the cards you want individually online. I just went through all the prices of all of the individual cards and for the most part there's not that many valuable cards in this set. There are a lot of cards to collect, especially for ultra rares and secret rares, but for the most part not that expensive of cards in this set. It's always more expensive but more fun to go out and buy sealed products. Best value there would buy a booster box or even a case of booster boxes. It's much cheaper per pack doing it that way. Elite trainer boxes are also a good way to obtain booster packs and then of course single booster packs from stores are probably the worst way to collect these cards just because it is the most per pack at about $4.19 per pack in stores. If you are a collector, and that's mainly what I am, the best strategy for completing this set would be to wait until this set is out of the standard rotation and it usually takes a couple of years. Once that happens, all the cars in the set will decrease in value and that way you can pick them up for cheap when the players of the TCG will no longer need these cards to play the competitive TCG.
And if you are a competitive player of the TCG, you're going to have to pay the higher prices online for these individual cards. I found eBay is really the cheapest place out there, but also places like Poke Order, Troll and Toad, Professor Oak, even TCG Player has some good deals as well. As far as future value of this set, and this is the third Sun and Moon series set, I think this set will have some value just because both Charizard and Ho-Oh are in this set. Two very popular Pokemon from the first two generations of Pokemon. I think the Charizard GX Rainbow Rare is going to be a very popular card to collect down the road. And I would say also for the Ho-Oh GX Full Art. And it is still a mystery what's going to happen with the Sun and Moon series sets down the road just because there are so many ultra rare and secret rare cards to collect. I would guess that none of the cards will be super expensive to collect just because there are so many. But I do enjoy collecting these sets, although it is expensive right now, but it is pretty cool to have so many cards to collect to complete a certain set. So there you have it. There are all of the prices on the most valuable cards in the Burning Shadows set. If you have any additional questions on this set, feel free to comment on this video or send me a private message. In the coming week or two, I'll be doing my top 10 Burning Shadows Pokemon card video, as well as showing my complete Burning Shadows card collection. I plan on completing the set as soon as possible. Also, make sure to check out the two Burning Shadows giveaways I have going on on my channel right now. I'm giving away two more Burning Shadows booster boxes before August is over, as well as the Luminous Frost theme deck. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.